if I told you you can catch Pokemon in your sleep? Seriously, I'm catching Pokemon right now in this footage. This is done by playing a game called Pokemon Sleep, which is coming out the summer of 2023. To test this out, the Pokemon company invited me out to New York City and provided a one-night stay, meals, and gave me early access to play Pokemon Sleep. But before I went to the event, Pokemon released a quiz that would determine my sleeping type. The quiz asked questions about my sleeping habits, such as how often you wake up in the night, how long it takes you to fall asleep, how rested you feel in the morning, and based on all the answers that you give the quiz, it will assign you a specific sleeping type. By the way, if you want to try out the quiz for yourself, it's going to be in the pinned comment down below. Now that I knew what my sleeping type was, it was now time to head to the event to see where I would be staying. As I got to the hotel, I made my way up to the room where my wife and I walked in and I was shocked. Okay, so let's see what's in the Pokemon sleep basket that the Pokemon company gave us. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is a nice blanket from the Pokemon company. And there, oh, there's the Pikachu symbol. Next up, we got a fanny pack. And it feels like the symbol over here, it's a lot more adventurous, it's pretty cool. Inside of this, check out the pattern here. It's a bunch of Pikachu, so that's pretty cool. You have a pouch there. You have another pouch over here. So look at that, another storage at the bottom. So it's very convenient. We actually bought our own, but we'll be switching out to this one for the rest of this trip. This is kind of funny because we just bought this backpack so this is a very good choice pokemon you knew exactly our taste but look ours didn't come with this this is a little snorlax tiny little plush you hear that little yeah, a little beanbag. Look how cute this thing is. This is a really awesome gift basket. Thank you, Pokemon, for this. By the way, when we come back to the hotel room later, it's going to look completely different at night. However, it was now time for the Pokemon sleep event. The floor had a private event sign, so I felt really cool to be part of it. And they handed us a top secret phone with Pokemon sleep already installed. They had tons of Pokemon sleeping signs on the way to the main room. And right before we walked into the main room, there was an entire tent filled with sleeping Pokemon, just like a camping trip. So I had to get my whole entire photo shoot in. Also, did you notice my little Snorlax with me? You'll see him everywhere we go in this video. Even the official Pokemon Sleep Twitter account acknowledged him. His name is Bob. Bob the Snorlax. After taking even more pictures in the main room with all the sleeping Pokemon with the New York skyline in the background, we had a presentation with a question and answer session with the developer of Pokemon Sleep. But before that, Yuri from the Pokemon Company gave us an amazing presentation on the basics of Pokemon Sleep. And believe it or not, the game is really simple. Let me break it down for you. The adventure takes place on small islands in the Pokemon world and Professor Neroli is studying Pokemon sleeping habits. By the way, different Pokemon show up on different islands. You get a new Snorlax every single week and it has a power called Drowsy Power. This power is able to draw other Pokemon nearby. Think of it like this. Your sleep is basically in sync with that Snorlax asleep. The game is broken up into three parts. At night, you just sleep. In the morning, you research Pokemon sleep styles, and I'll be showing you the Pokemon I get later in this video when I wake up. And in the afternoon, you raise Snorlax by feeding it berries and meals that your Pokemon find. The overall goal is to complete the sleep style decks by repeating this daily. Now at night to play the game, all you simply have to do is place the phone face down on your pillow, or you can place the Pokemon Go Plus Plus down by your pillow as well and sleep. I'll be going over everything about the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. When you wake up, you just check the results of your sleep, see all the stats about it, your sleep score, and see how much drowsy power you get, which will determine how many Pokemon gather around you each time. The more you sleep, the more Pokemon show up. The math formula for this is very simple. Snorlax strength times sleep equals drowsy power. The higher, the better it is for your sleep style decks because more Pokemon show up. Your sleep type will determine which Pokemon will gather around Snorlax, so you'll be getting one of these starters. Hopefully I'll be getting Charmander later. You give the Pokemon Poke Biscuits so that they can be more friendly towards you and join your team. By the way, you have a max team of 5 helper Pokemon that can be on your adventure with you. These helper Pokemon will gather specific berries and will give them to Snorlax to raise its strength. The Pokemon will passively collect these berries when you're not playing Pokemon Sleep, so when you're AFK from 
from the game and putting it in your pocket or just not touching it, that's when that happens. Each Snorlax has its own preference of berries, so you want to select a Pokemon team that collects those specific berries to get Snorlax the maximum amount of strength that it can get. Like the video games, you can also cook dishes from the ingredients Pokemon gathered to make Snorlax's favorite meals. Meals, by the way, give you more power than berries. There are a bunch of rare Pokemon, so the higher power on your Snorlax, you'll have higher chances of encountering rare Pokemon and their rare sleep styles. And you'll have a higher chance of finding rare Pokemon during the weekend. So that's something to look forward to on the weekends. Now, how do you play this game with a friend? Well, all you have to do is simply just register your friend and you can choose exactly what you want to share with them, like the number of sleep styles you studied or what is exactly on your health routine. You also get rewards for reviewing all their sleep stuff. So make sure to always check out your friend's sleeping research. The the game also records the sounds you make in your sleep, but this concerned a lot of people, but don't worry, this data is completely deleted after 24 hours, so it's just for you to really review the weird noises you make in your sleep, or if you're coughing, things like that. Now let's quickly go over the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. It links with both Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sleep. You'll also get a special Nightcap Pikachu by syncing this with Pokemon Sleep. Now this is really beneficial because this will give you a 6 member on your team as opposed to just having the base 5. So that's specific Pikachu does not take up a slot on your team and is a bonus team member. The Nightcap Pikachu also makes noises when it's time to wake up and when it's time to go to sleep. It also sings a lullaby that can be horrifying or cute depending on what you think it is. Here, have a listen. I don't know if Yuri looks terrified or thinks it's cute. In Pokemon Go, it throws Pokeballs for you, and you can even catch Pokemon when the device is just in your bag. It also auto spins on Pokestops and throws Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. By syncing it to Pokemon Go, you also get a special research to find Snorlax with the nighttime cap. That's cool, I guess. And when you sync it to your Pokemon Go data, it also gives you rewards for properly sleeping, and it also gives you hearts for your buddy Pokemon and Stardust in Pokemon Go. So if you play both of these games, it is going to be a win and you definitely should get this. The developer now joined us to answer a bunch of questions and answers. And it was really early in the morning in Japan when he did this. Now, before I went to the event, I asked Twitter to send me as many questions as they could. By the way, this is a really good reason why you should follow me on there. So let me answer some of these tweet questions. Average Siege asked, I'm assuming it would detect the movement of you and your significant other if you share a bed. How will that skew the results? Is there a way to work around it? So we had a few questions about this. Sleeping devices, having someone in bed with you, or your dog just jumping up on the bed will skew the data when it picks up on sounds and movements. Here's proof I even asked the question at the event. If my dog jumps on my bed, will my sleep data get messed up? Great question. How would you think your sleep is using an accelerometer? So technically, if you see GTA, your dog jump into your bed, yeah, it's more of a predict the movement of your dog. They also suggested that if there are two people sharing the bed and playing the game, that you keep both devices as far away as you could. That way, nothing skews up the data. Otter Rocket asks, is it possible to get shiny Pokemon? It is possible to get shiny Pokemon as many users reported it during the beta test on Android. But the developers themselves didn't confirm it there, and they said that's something that you should probably discuss Discover for yourself? The answer is yes. Senpai Retro asks, does Pokemon Sleep synchronize with the Apple Watch or track sleeping patterns for more accurate reading? Pokemon Sleep doesn't have any compatibility with the Apple Watch, so they can't confirm any information beyond that. But it's most likely being looked at. Macro E asks, how many Pokemon can be discovered? Will they continue to update the app with more Pokemon in the future? Can this Pokemon be transferred to any other game? From the calculations by looking through the sleeping decks, there should be about 107 unique Pokemon. And the developers said during the presentation that they plan to add Add more Pokemon as the game continues on in the future. Also, there is no information or plans yet to connect this game with Pokemon Home or anything else like that. The Bald Gamer asks, think this game is structured in a way where sleep streams are doable or manageable? Like maybe things for shiny hunting? I'm gonna be honest with you, this might be the most boring stream ever because the gameplay is literally you just sleeping. But if a streamer or content creator wants to record awesome footage about Pokemon sleep, I suggest having a bunch of different phones and when you wake up in the morning to collect the Pokemon, that show up so you can probably do that if you're content creating or streaming before we headed back to our room to actually play the game i met up with the snorlax and took some pictures with him i made sure to even include bob in the photos because i was told there are only two snorlax costumes that exist in the entire world so i also had to bust out the snorlax dance move when i met him when we got back to our room it was a complete different vibe this is how it looked like during the day and this is how it looked like at night 
that. We even had a cool Pokemon sleep screen on the TV. The lighting in the room was just perfect to relax. We even wore pajamas that were Pokemon themed. Here's what my wife Henna looks like, and here's what I look like in our pajamas. Pretty cool. Before I went to sleep, I went through a tutorial, and when I laid down in bed and hit the sleep button, there was actually an option to play some Pokemon music. This is what it sounds like. And I didn't want to keep it on because I like to sleep a little bit more in silence. Okay, so let me turn off the lights. And now it's just me in bed. I got the TV on and power that off because, you know, we got to have everything off for the night. Power this off just like this and start tracking my sleep just like this. And I'm going to keep this close by on the bed. But the most important thing is to make sure you don't have it underneath anything or covering. So make sure it's available and breathing. So just like that, um, have it plugged in so I can track your sleep in case it does go out during the night. And good night. You can paste it face down. <laughs> While this guy is sleeping, let me go over the paid stuff in the game. Sleep points are a common resource in the game. You earn one sleep point for every one point in the sleep score. As you can see, there are many items that you can purchase in the shop with these points. There are even evolution items in the game, so that gives you a good idea about what Pokemon you may encounter as you're playing. The general store contains items that are typically found in most mobile games, such as limited time bundles that use the premium diamond currency, bargain bundles, and items that you can just simply buy. There are also interesting interesting incense items such as the luck incense, the growth incense, and the friend incense that can be consumed overnight. There are also upgrade items to increase Pokemon amounts, the amount of ingredients you can store, and the amounts of items you have, as well as the typical mobile money exchange for money for diamonds. I believe the biggest paid feature in the game is the premium pass, which offers the following benefits that you can pause anytime on the screen to see. The one month plan is $9.99 US dollars. The six month plan is $49.99. USD and there is also a 14 day free trial that you must take advantage of if you want to see if their premium pass is worth it for the cost for you. By the way, my thoughts on this, this is all just typical mobile game stuff and this shouldn't be too surprising if you've played mobile games before. This is not really a pay to win game, it's more of a sleep to win. I'm going to show off what I get when I wake up in the morning kind of game. Just like you're about to find out what happens when I wake up right now to see what Pokemon I got. I opened up my phone and was immediately greeted by the sleep research tutorial. I was way too tired for the tutorial, but it's only going to happen during the first morning when you start playing the game. I ended up just sleeping for 5 hours and 9 minutes and got a sleep score of 61, which sucks. I ended up getting a dozing type sleep. I mentioned before that drowsy power is calculated by multiplying your Snorlax strength by your sleep score, so my drowsy power ended up being 2,440,000. I ended up attracting a Bulbasaur, two Caterpie, a Bellsprout, and a Houndor. I wanted the Houndor, but the game forces you to give Pokemon biscuits to the first starter Pokemon that you encounter. So I was forced to get Bulbasaur. I'm not a fan of that Pokemon. By the way, it's going to suck really bad if you have a shiny Pokemon on day one because you won't be able to select it to have it on your team. Yeah, that's, there's going to be a lot of shiny Pokemon missed. Unfortunately, I didn't get the slumbering sleep type like my quiz mentioned, but on game launch, I'll make sure to get it.